Hey guys, this is The Great Gamer. Today I'm going to be saying, is the iPhone 8 still worth buying in early 2024, um, almost seven years later? So, um, first of all, the specs of this device are, it has the A11 Bionic chip with two gigabytes of RAM, and it's pretty fast, but... Not as fast as the iPhone 10 or 8 Plus. So, yeah, and the performance, as you can see, is still pretty good. But it is a little bit, like, a little slow. So, yeah. Oh, and speaking of other stuff, the battery life on this is, well, it's kind of meh. It's n it's not really worth buying. I wouldn't I would I would not say this is worth buying, but I I I would say the battery life is equip um a little better than the SE second gen from 2020 because it doesn't do great as fast, but the battery life overall is kind of just meh. So yeah. Oh and the software support is it got five years of major OS updates. It goes up to, let me show you, as you can see right here, this is what it goes up to iOS 16.7.5, um, this is the latest version for it, as you can see, and so is the, the biggest question you might have is, is this worth buying, and I say, if you're, I, I say no, Unfortunately, this isn't worth buying anymore. Neither is the 10 because this phone. Sorry about that, guys. My parents were talking. Um, So neither is the iPhone 10 worth buying. And um, these are not getting iOS 17 ever unless somebody finds a patch for them. And this is not getting iOS 18 this year. When iOS 18 beta comes out, it will not be available for these devices. So, yeah. And, uh... It has wireless charging and a pretty... Pretty nice design, but the design is, like, at least... 9 to 10 years outdated, so... And you're still getting that clunky home button, so... Yeah, and the camera is really not that great. It looks good. It just isn't as good as the SE second gen, but the SE second gen also kind of has a bad camera. So, yeah. Um, but is it good for gaming? Well, yes, it is actually good for gaming. If I go in here and play something like, oh, actually, I don't want to get copyright, but if I play something like Minecraft, let me just show you. That it's not too bad. At least I think. As you can see, it, it loads pretty fast. So, if you're just getting this phone for, like, gaming and nothing else, this is okay for buying. I don't want to get copyrighted. So, um, so yeah. And if you want this for, like, FaceTime or school, then that's also fine. If you want it as, like, a media player, that's fine. If you want it as a Netflix device, that's also fine. A Spotify device, fine. Um, or just taking some lower quality pictures, yeah, that's fine. And stuff like, or a social media device, where you use it, or a burner device, yeah, that's worth it, so, um, the iPhone 8 is still a pretty cool phone in 2024, but it will never be as cool as the iPhone 10, so, yeah, um, hope you guys liked this video, don't forget to stay tuned for more content like this, and bye!